All right, so today started out as it usually does with me being late. All right, so I'm in a bit of a rush right now. And I was late to go pick up a friend to then go climbing. I'm going to pick my friend up and then we're gonna go do some climbing. And then after we were done with climbing, we went to a cafe. We took some scooters to a cafe and then had a meeting there. All right, so now we're done with the climb and now we're gonna go to a coffee shop. And then around 4 p.m. we were done. All right, so that's the Espresso House meeting done and also some climbing done. Now I'm gonna try to get across the street here without getting hit by a tram or by a bus. And I was heading home and I walked a long part of that way until I felt like, okay, this is too cold. All right, so this walk was a little bit too long and it's a little bit too cold. So I may try to just get on one of those trams illegally, but I have to watch out for the, I mean the guards. They kind of keep track of whether everyone has tickets because I don't want to buy a ticket. And then I tried to get on a tram for free uh, to get, get home, essentially doing it illegally. All right, so if you want to cheat the system here in Sweden, you have to watch out for the white hats, which are in there. As you can see, with the white hats. Basically the opposite of like hackers, so white hat hackers, the opposite of that is here in Sweden with all of these trams. You basically want to watch out for the white hats when you get on a tram, if you want to go for free. I made it. No one's checking the tickets, so this time I was all good. And now I'm home. And now I'm home, and now let's do a Q&A. So I posted this on uh, Instagram on one of my stories, so in case you want to be part of uh, one of these Q&As, go follow me on Instagram. And you can also see like all the photos that I post on there. I try to post photos that are not just YouTube related. All right, first question. What's your favorite piece of technology right now? And my favorite piece of technology right now is like iPads because I got my iPad Air and now I'm like researching, uh, retrospectively researching the, the iPads to kind of see like what you can do with them. I've been wanting an iPad for really long but I haven't let myself like do proper research on it because I didn't want to get too deep into it before I was actually sure that I could buy one. So now I was sure I could buy one and I bought one and now I'm doing some research on it. So that's my favorite piece of tech. What are your favorite coding related TV shows and movies? Uh, my favorite TV shows are coding related. Hair. 
Uh, my favorite TV shows that are coding related are Silicon Valley. I really think that's a, quite a funny show and it's uh, really interesting. They do some coding and they do some, like you kind of get that feeling of like sitting in a dorm room or something, coding an app out and then releasing it, I think. Why did you tell Winnie that I think people who use spaces over tabs are stupid? And then I also like Mr. Robot, of course. I think that's super, really well shot and really inspires me in some of the videos that I make and some of the techniques that I use for the videos that I make. Uh, so those are probably my two favorite TV shows. All right, this one's pretty good. Uh, what languages do you know slash have used in programming, obviously? And the I don't know that many languages. Like, I, I would say that I know Java pretty well and and that's kind of the level that I'm at in most of the things that I do. I'm not super interested in learning like the ins and outs of a specific language. I'm more interested in like being able to do different things. So what I'll do is I'll like, if I, if I want to make a website, then I'll look into like, okay, what, what are the best tools for actually making a website? And then I'll say like, okay, the languages that I use, and then I'll look into that language and then I'll, I'll try to just write stuff in that language and see how that works. And if it works, usually like, that's why programming is pretty good because usually once you know one language, you can just start writing in any language and it will pretty much be what you're writing. That will be what you should be writing, except for like, you may have to Google certain things like how, like do they use semicolons at the end, for instance, or do they use uh, just regular colons like Python does? But that's also stuff that you can Google once you run into those problems. So I, I would say just learn object-oriented programming and then you'll be able to use pretty much any language. But my best language is, is Java and Dart. And then I'm okay at Python, but I'm not good at all at Python. I have to Google a lot of basic stuff in Python. All right, this is a question that I've seen a lot, which is, uh, I like your watch and where can I buy one? Or like, what type of watch is it? And I have this watch. Oh yeah, Phoenix 3 HR. I think it says it here. Okay, what languages do you recommend or do you suggest that beginners learn? And uh, this is one that I've said, I've said this tons of times, but I think Java is the best one to learn first. It's not the easiest one to learn first. I think Python is probably the easiest to learn. So if you want an easy one, I would go with Python. But if you want one that will teach you like that will give you the broadest scope of like knowledge straight away then i would go with java because every other language is going to be something where it's either going to look exactly the same as java or you're going to take away things so you're going to take away the semicolon at the end or you're going to take away certain things at the beginning of words or, or stuff like that so it basically takes java or other languages generally take java and make it simpler except for C++, which is like the next level up or down, depending on how you look at it, uh, from Java, which is essentially that if you learn C++, then Java will be easier, way easier than C++, and then every other, other language will be way easier or easier than Java. But when it comes to like learning C++ versus learning Java, I think that learning C++ is like double as hard as learning Java. And so, the benefit of learning C++ is not that great in those sort of terms because with Java you'll also be able to pick up C++ a little bit easier down the road so therefore I think Java is a really solid starting language to start with and that's what I started with so maybe I'm biased but that's what I would recommend. All right, that's it for this one. I hope you kind of like these sort of Q&A. I tried to incorporate something into the Q&A to make it sort of a little bit more interesting than just watching me sitting here answering questions. So I tried to include like I did now with a little bit, little bit of a vlog in the beginning of the video. And then last week I did the same with like unboxing a lot of things and also answering questions at the same time. So anyway, if you want to be part of these Q&A videos, which I will be doing every week while I'm doing like daily videos, which I don't know how long that will be for, but I'm gonna do one Q&A every week for this daily video streak that I'm having. And uh, if you wanna be part of that, then you can just follow me on Instagram and be ready to just ask questions once I post a story on Instagram. Anyway, that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope I'll see you tomorrow in the next one.